The thing that I really remember, because it was such, had such an effect on me, was Santana's performance. I'd heard Carlos play in San Francisco, but I'd never heard that band. And that's an awesome show. And even listening back to it today, it's still an awesome set. It's certainly the first like truly incredible electric performance at Woodstock. I mean, it just it sets the tone for the Saturday. Santana were booked fairly early on Saturday because fundamentally they were unknown. They were sandwiched in between two acoustic sets, Country Joe before, John Sebastian right after. They came over and they asked me if I could just do a little something because Santana was having problem with the, getting their equipment there and getting set up. I said to Joe, when we were in Amsterdam, you talked about maybe doing a solo thing. Now, please. <laughs> and he said, I haven't got a guitar. I'm just here to listen to music. And I said to somebody, get me a guitar. So they found uh, a Yamaha FG150, which is a great cheap uh, guitar, really nice in tune all up the neck. I don't know whose it was. And they said, okay, you got a guitar. And I said, well, they don't have a guitar strap. So Bill went and cut a piece of rope off the rigging for the stage and tied it to the guitar. And they just pushed me out there to the microphone. Scorching the painted desert adrift off of Donovan's reef. Then Sebastian, where he tie-dye from head to toe, he was not booked on the festival. This conversation starts around me. Uh, we're saying, yeah, well, what we got to do is get somebody to hold them with an acoustic guitar because we got to sweep this stage or these amps are going to blow somebody up. I'm looking out at the crowd and I'm going, yep, that's, that's exactly what, what you need. And then I look side to side and I realize they're both going <laughs> like that at me. And I said, fellas, I, I don't even know if I have a thumb pick. I didn't bring any equipment. I, I have nothing. I don't have a guitar. And I find Timmy Harden. And I say, Tim, can I, can I borrow your guitar? He says, sure, go ahead. Then now I had a working man's guitar, man, a harmony sovereign. Years later, uh, Country Joe said, man, you were the guy who played with like a soulful guitar. You didn't have any of this 44 Martin stuff or, you know, whatever. I just loved his attitude about it. And laugh about our funny little ways. 